Hello and welcome into this week's Student Athlete of the Week. I'm here with Lauren Kawaka, a senior volleyball player. Lauren, thank you for coming. Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little nervous though. <laughs> um, Lauren, what is your major? I'm um, elementary education. Okay. Um, how did you choose that and what plans do you have after graduation? Um, my sister actually wanted to be a teacher first and I kind of stole the idea from her. And um, after I graduate, I plan on going back and getting my master's in education either here or back at home. Okay. And where is home? Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> okay. Um, how do you uh, balance your study schedule and your practice schedule? I know it must be difficult. <laughs> There's a lot of studying done on the bus when we travel. Um, a lot of late nights and early mornings. What is your position in volleyball? I'm a setter right side. Okay. Can you explain that for people who don't know? Um, a setter is the person that throws the ball in the air for a person to hit, and a right side is the person that's on the right side of the net that gets to attack the ball. Okay. Uh, we've been filming your games here and streaming them, so I've noticed the home atmosphere is amazingly loud. <laughs> oh, yes. And Rusty even mentioned several times in his broadcast that a lot of players you know, don't like to play here if it's in their, their away mm -hmm. game. So can you explain the atmosphere for somebody who's like maybe never played sports? What does that feel like? Um, this gym seems very small um, compared to other gyms, but there's so much noise that can accumulate in here. We can have 50 people sitting in our stands, and it sounds like there's at least 200 people. And it's just awesome having so many people, not just people from campus, but people from around the community coming in and watching us play. Uh, every team you've played, um, or every team that you've got left to play, you've already played. So you kind of know how they are. Mm -hmm. How does that help you, or does it help you? And explain kind of what your, uh, what your strategy is going into those games. Um, we get to play every team twice, so it does help that we get to see what they're like the first time around. But when we play teams really early, sometimes they're just getting into their niche and they haven't quite figured out their lineup or how people are going to play. So it can either help us or hurt us, and we set up for one person being this way, and then they come out in an entirely different way. Uh, what are your goals for the rest of the season? Um, to beat every other team that we come across. I mean, that's what every team really wants to do. Now, this is your last year playing college volleyball. Uh, since you are a senior, what are your expectations for, us th for the rest of the season? Um, I think this team can go further than any of the ones that have gone in the past. We've, um, we were top 64 last year, and the year before we were top 32. So this year I want to go to the top 16, 8, 4. You know, number one in our region would be awesome. Yeah. Um, could you summarize kind of your experience here since you have, you've played here four years, right? Okay. Yes. What's been your experience here and what's kind of been your favorite part? <clears throat> um, my favorite part, I think, was freshman year on the buses. Um, we didn't always have, like, the big buses we have now. We had little vans that we traveled in, and everyone was so close, and it made the team even closer. And all the stupid little games and stuff we'd play and all the music and stuff. And the team was really tight. But... I mean, every team has been awesome, and all the girls are great, and we all usually get along really, really well. So we talked about the home crowd here, and I've noticed a couple of the basketball players, they've got a nickname for you. Do you mind telling us what that is and how it originated? Um, my nickname's Waka, and they get it from Waka Flocka Flame, um, the rapper. My last name is Kowaka, and um, it actually started back in Ohio from a club coach. Um, he was Puerto Rican, and Kowaka was a little difficult, so he shortened it up <laughs> and just carried on. Now, Mike Smith will be watching this interview on <laughs> Rusty's athletic report. So do you have any words for your coach? Uh, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too tough on you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Lauren, thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. Um, I've been Nikki Harville, and this has been your Student Athlete of the Week.